Hi, I'm Dr. Robert Cohen. Today I'm going to walk you through some more ACT trigonometry, uh, this time the law of sines and the law of cosines. Now you can use these two laws for any triangles. They don't have to be right triangles. Okay, so this is the law of sines and basically the way to remember, the way to distinguish between law of sines and law of cosines is that when you're dealing with law of sines, you're going to be dealing with um, two sides and two angles. So you're going to be dealing with something like sine A over A equals sine B over B, or sine B over B equals sine C over C. Um, these are all equal to each other, but in any given problem, as we're going to see, you're just going to be working with two of them. And so sine of angle A <clears throat> over side A is equal to sine of angle B over side B, and sine of angle C is, sorry, is also equal to sine of angle C over side C. So when you get a problem and you see that you have two angles and two sides, and you're trying to solve for one of those four things, one of those four things is a variable, but you're dealing with two angles and two sides, then it's probably going to be a law of sines problem. So let's, let's show you how this works. Let's work through this triangle BCA, and we see we have two angles and two sides. One of the sides, one of the values is a variable. It's a good tip off that we're dealing with law of sines. <clears throat> so we're going to set up our ratios just as the law tells us. Sine of C over C is equal to sine of angle B over B. So here we have sine of 105, sine of the angle over the side across from it is equal to the sine of this angle over the side across from that angle. And so here we just apply the law of sines, we plug in our values, and then it's very easy to solve. From this point, we just cross multiply. So 7 times sine 105 equals C times sine 35. We have that right here. And then, you know, just more algebra, divide both sides by 35, by sine 35. And you get C equals 7 sine 105 divided by sine 35. Now this you can just plug into your calculator. These angles are in degrees, so make sure that um, your calculator is set in degrees and not radians. And when you plug it in, you get 11.79 equals C. So the length of side C turns out to be 11.79. Now the only variation you might see is you might need to find the angle. You might have two sides, one angle, and the fourth value is a variable, an angle that is a variable. So you would do the same thing you did here, but what you're going to end up with is something like sine x equals, and then you're going to have, you're going to have some, some value like this, I don't know, 2.3 something. And at this point, you just need to remember to use arc sine. So you would just take the arc sine, which you can do in your calculator, of 2.3, and that would get you the angle that, you, that gets you 2.3. Um, and if you're not familiar with arc sine, uh, go go check out the video on uh, trigonometric um, trigonometric identities and definitions <clears throat> on my blog or on YouTube, and I explain this in much more detail um, there. Um, so yeah, so this is law of sines again. Remember, two side you see two sides and two angles. They give you three of the values. One of those four is a variable. So then just just set this up. Plug in your numbers and solve. So the law of cosines now, this is the law of cosines. And the law of cosines, it's basically, remember with law of sines we said 
we're dealing with two sides, two angles. Law of cosines, we're dealing with uh, three sides and one angle. So if you see three sides and one angle, you probably have a law of cosine problem. And again, one of those four variables, one of the three sides or the angle, is going to be um, a variable that you need to solve for. And we see it here, three sides and one angle. Um, you know, the, the more you do these, the, the better you'll get at recognizing which is a law of cosines problem, which of the law of, is a law of sines problem. It's a pr that's a pretty easy way to remember it, I think. And another way, another helpful way to think about law of cosines, it's basically the Pythagorean theorem for not, that you can use on, but the Pythagorean theorem is just for right triangles. The law of cosines um, it's like the Pythagorean theorem. You see it looks very similar, but you can use it on any triangle. So law of cosines is like the Pythagorean theorem for any triangle, basically. So let's solve this. Here we see the formula is c squared, the side, equals side a squared plus side b squared minus 2 times side a times side b times cosine angle C. So the lower, again, the lowercase letters are represent the sides, and the uppercase letters represent the angles. Okay, so um, let's just solve this. Let's plug in what we have. We have C squared equals A, what's that, 8, 8 squared plus B squared 11 squared minus 2 times side A, which is 8, times side B, which is 11, times cosine of 37. Oops. 37. All right. So now I just want to go ahead and plug in all my values. So let's do this. Let's see. C squared equals 64 plus 121 minus 2 times 8 times 11 is 176 so minus 176 cosine 37 now what's 176 cosine 37 well let's actually let's add this up first 64 plus 121 is 185 minus this value so I would just plug this into the calculator. Make sure you're in degrees again. 185 minus um, parentheses 176 cosine 37. And we get c squared equals 44 point roughly 44. So now we just take the root, a lot like the Pythagorean theorem. And we get C equals 6 point about 6, 7. That's our answer. And that, that looks about right for this, uh, for this triangle. As with the law of sines, if this problem had asked you to solve for the angle, you would do the same procedure. You would plug in all the given values into the equation. You would just end up, again, with something like co cosine of angle C equals some value, right? Again, I'll say, who knows, 2.22 something. Um, and so you would just take the arc uh, cosine of that value, and you would get the original, the original angle. And again, if you're not clear on arc, arc functions, just check out my, <clears throat> sorry, my video on identi trig identities and definitions. If you found this video helpful, please like it, share it, or subscribe to the channel, all of which will help me to reach more people looking for this type of content. Thanks.